Hey, yo, 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 everybody, what's up? This is Pancho of Pokemon Wi-Fi Duels number 14, I think, versus DJ Fabius, and he's off of Spog because it's where all the cool people are from. Have that in the link, and let's get this show on the road. I'm back. Um, hopefully to stay this time. Um, so he's going to start off with a Crobat, and I'm going to lead off with my Jurassic. He's going to go for the U-turn. I'm going to go for a Taunt, which is not a good idea. I should have done, I could have done anything else besides that Taunt, but it's all good. I think he's switching to Scissor, actually, either expect just wanting to start like a quick sweep or something or wanting to um predict the toxic or who knows what but yeah um i go into my ace trainer because i know that after an intimidate i can survive a couple of bullet punches to the face and also i carry fire blast because i'm packing heat nine millimeter um so yeah i'm gonna go for oh he's gonna go for another bullet punch he's gonna bring me down to 69 hp because cha la la and i'm gonna fire blast Melt that sucker down. Gonna turn them into cans and recycle them. Five cents a piece. Um, yeah, so this is a, a my. I guess this is actually my official return battle because I posted one battle early um, before versus Van, but that was just kind of like a little roulette for fun. And I was still rusty, and that's why I haven't been posting. But I'm back now. I feel like I've been I've been training pretty hard to come back, and I've been I think I'm ready to start battling. I've won. I've been I'm in a couple of tourneys and I'm doing pretty well in them. Um, I've advanced in at least two I think today or yesterday one today one yesterday and I still need to do a couple more battles for some other tourneys like bands. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that and I'll have a battle today. I'll be posting this battle and I'm posting another battle tomorrow. Um, really hope you guys enjoy those battles and watch them. Uh, I'm gonna. So yeah, he's gonna. I'm gonna ugh, back to the battle. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna get that substitute after he switches out from his Infernape, obviously because I scarfed it, and so I can predict the switches, and so it doesn't have that little extra life orb punch. And he's gonna go into his Dragonfly after I sub because I knew he was gonna switch. There's no, there's no reason he would stay in. Um, I'm gonna substitute, get my sub up, so I can drag him, so I can wreck on his team a little bit. He's gonna break my sub with earthquake, and I'm gonna dragon pulse for the easy Oko. Um, dragonflies are, I mean, not dragonflies. Uh, what are those things called? I don't know. It's gone anyway. So he's gonna go into his dragon king, his seek. Not see, I forgot what these things are called. Kingdra. He's in a waterfall. Um, I guess not wanting to over predict. Uh, not very effective. Um, I don't know what these things usually carry because I don't really go against these, but. I guess I should start learning because I, I actually say that a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna spore and I didn't know he had substitute, so I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? I know what's coming, fuck. And I got poison, my poison heal kind of helping me, I guess. And that dragon dance, I'm, it's not really good because that's the reason I haven't been posting battles because I've been letting people set up on me way too easily. But now I'm kind of getting past that and starting to prevent them from setting up on me so easily and getting to take them out faster so I don't get sweeped or nothing um, but yeah that was the main reason for me taking longer to post videos and everything hope you enjoyed my house video my house tag video though um, but yeah he's gonna he's gonna go for the sub and I'm gonna go for a sub too and I think he was maybe waiting for me to sub up so he can go for an outrage but I think I should have just kept seed bombing maybe he would have kept stall trying to stall and sub down his HP which would have been better for me but I guess that's what the narrations are for so you can see your mistakes and get better um so yeah I'm gonna seed bomb his uh his substitute off and after he breaks my sub too uh so then uh, I think he goes right here for another outrage cause he might have to I suppose yeah so he goes for the outrage and it's gonna take me uh, yeah it KOs my 50 cent early on which is bad for me because 50 cents when my, my 50 cent is my physical sweeper and so I'm gonna go to my mamon because he's a beast and I love this part of the game this part of the match is so awesome like I didn't expect this but like I go for the ice shard and get him down to I can do really good damage I suppose and he's gonna go for the outrage and I'm like fuck <laughs> is another Oko he get ready for the sweep 
and then I live with 19 HP and I'm like, oh, what? Fuck, yes. I was happy face right there. And I was like, well, the it's not going to matter if he's confused or not because I'm pretty sure another ice shard's going to take him out, I think. Yeah, the ice shard takes him out. Um, so my monster still going to go into his poo. And I didn't want to over predict this, what this thing was going to do. So I go for the ice shard and it does a lot of damage actually. I didn't expect it to do that much. Oh, because I got a crit. Yeah, I got a crit. And he goes flamethrower and I was like, damn, I should have just switched to my heat tram, but whatever. I didn't want to over predict. I didn't. And I, I lost my, put my mammal slime and my moan. But it's all good. Uh, now I go into my heat ran, of course, knowing that he's going to switch out. It's because he's going to, because he's going to flamethrower obviously because of choice scarf. Uh, I'm gonna go for the sub because I know he's gonna switch. I'm gonna go dragon pulse because I don't know what else to do on this thing. Um, I really don't. He's gonna go for the earthquake to break my sub. I think I go for another, another uh, dragon pulse. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I go for earth power or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the little lefties and stuff. And he gets his lefties too. Swampers are pretty annoying, and more kips aren't cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna. He's gonna. I'm gonna go on to Jurassic and it's pretty good and right there I predict the earthquake so that's why I went to Jurassic take it nothing happens so I'm all good and right here I'm gonna stealth Cox set up my Cox on him cuz I know he likes Cox <laughs> and he's gonna ice beam and I think Jurassic lives this yeah take oh yeah he takes it pretty good um, wasn't gonna kill uh, but it'll be a 2 hit KO obviously and I'm gonna go toxic and I was expecting the ice beam to kill me I don't know why I well I was just expecting to kill me and I was like well stuff cox toxic was gonna help me in the long run uh, and it was actually took me a while to decide but then when I saw that I could use both I was so ha I was happy that the toxic hit because it was just to add a bonus to the stealth rocks um, maybe if I would have known I would have survived then I probably would have gone to the toxic first but then toxic has a chance of missing so I was also kind of skeptic about that but then he's gonna go into his crowbat after taking out my Jurassic and I'm gonna go into purpose um, and give him a shadow ball to the face and he's gonna like barely survive it and I'm like damn that's gay so yeah he's gonna brave bird and I'm like what the hell I'm like wasn't expecting a brave bird expecting something like u-turn or something but yeah I would have that would been so good for me if he would have u-turned because then he would have just came back into stealth rocks um and he's gonna taunt cause so, he, so I won't substitute up and I was like damn I didn't to substitute that turn but damn and I know what he's I know what, it's, what he was doing and that is gonna really help him take me out faster and he's gonna do his poo and I'm like damn it scarfed even though he's probably gonna be faster anyway. Um, yeah, he's just gonna go close combat to the face, not faster, obviously. And I'm like, damn, couldn't you have flamethrower? <laughs> but um, yeah, that was good game, DJ Fab. Uh, it was great match, great to be back. I lost, but at least I'm not as rusty. I have a feeling my battles are just gonna get better and better. Um, thanks for sticking around, everyone. Sorry for the loud dog. Um, Hopefully keep subscribing, telling me your friends. I guess I'm getting advertised by a bunch of people, but I'm cool with it. You can advertise me too. Enjoy your beans.